The most common food eaten in the challenge house. Um, probably antibiotics, just because of <laughs> what a uh, Petri dish that house becomes in a very short period of time. But other than that, I'd say microwave pizzas, because a lot of times the catering that we get in other countries is suspect to say the least. So a lot of times we just go back to Old Faithful and we're like, actually burgers uh, this season. We were in Vietnam and we got like these like Australian burgers uh, that were in the freezer. So a lot of hamburgers were consumed this season. Average? I mean, that's the thing is it's like there's some outliers there, okay? You've got like the older folks that like to go to bed really early, like at sundown. And then you've got the newer folks that literally don't go to bed until sunrise. So I'd take probably the median there. I don't know, it's midnight. You know, I turn into a pumpkin after midnight, so I'm definitely in bed by then. I mean, I try and set myself a curfew, especially, here's the thing is like, I try and get on some sort of a, like a rhythm or a routine and staying up till, you know, God only knows what time every night, just, you know, be, at this point, I need all the help that I can get, uh, you know, to stay, to stay healthy and to heal and to recover. So yeah, I try and get as much shut eye as I can. Oh man. Uh, there's been a few. Um, Tony losing his spleen and literally almost dying in front of us because he bled out five pints of blood. Leroy uh, smashing his head off the back of a car then flailing 35 feet into the water and almost drowning. Ashley Mitchell getting tangled up in a, in a, in a, in a, in a tagline and almost, you know, decapitating herself. There have been a few. There have been, we, we have 100% uh, really... Uh, you know, come close to, 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 to tragedy a few times. But I mean, that's, that's what we sign up for. So there, this is often debated. Um, I definitely will say until the day I die that Rivals won. Uh, the, that was the first two day long overnight final in the history of the challenge was the hardest final ever. Um, you know, I've heard World of Worlds 1 was hard. I've heard that, you know, there've been some other ones. All I know is that after I've competed in multiple finals, um, I've competed in, I believe, 11. Uh, and after every single one, a little sore the next day, well, you know, didn't necessarily feel myself. After Rivals 1, I couldn't walk for a week. Um, so that one was absolutely, I mean, brutal.